it's got at least four in it, I think. Yeah. It, but it will, it will kind of be determined by whether or not one of these teams was just fooling. Like Singularity had that game; yeah. they lost. Ad Finum, if they could play like they do in the last thirty, like they, you know, in the first thirty, they'd probably win more games. Um, who comes to show? Who comes to play? It's a Bo Five. Like these sorts of series are much easier to get over that one dumb loss. I think you still got you got time. When it's a best of three, you feel like, oh God, we screwed yeah. up our chances. Now we have to win two games in a row. Yep. You're terrified of being cheesed, as an example, because you're yeah, like, yeah. oh well, we're just out if that happens. Yeah. If you're the better team, you got to win three out of four now, so it's not like an impossible feat by any means. So we'll see uh, what adjustments and things happen and all that. <laughs> Singularity just going down the line. Yep. Just uh, sustain off laners. <laughs> we'll take those out of the pool. No Ben, no Omni Knight. Yep. Yeah. What are you learning about today, Kyle? On the old animals. Right. Ones you can fight in a cage match? Is that yeah. where you're at again? Yeah, well, if you gave us a list, by the way, I think that would be an yeah. ideal scenario. Give me like five to choose one from or something, you know? You know? Oh. I reckon I could take an eagle on. I don't know. This is, the internet's wild right now. There's a ton of like different controversies going viral. You want to talk about any of them? <laughs> <laughs> on the Beyond the Summit stream? <laughs> any you have in mind? <laughs> well, for one... Um. No, I can't. Just, you know, none of them really come to mind. Oh There's just a lot going on in the world all the time, Kyle. Let me tell yeah, you it's about true. That. And that's why people are here no. to escape the world. Yeah. No. Especially on uh, International Mental Health Day. You know, people that's true. got a treat of a game one. Um, and that's a you know. And I do want to make sure, like, I goof around. I like to have fun. <laughs> But we're actually being serious when we say you should take your mental health seriously. Like, have some fun. And, uh, you know, something that really helped me, because I had a bunch of anxiety when I was younger, you got to not be afraid to be embarrassed. All right? No one can make you feel shame without your consent. Oh, God. All right? God. Kyle definitely took a whole 180 on that one. Went from, you know, being afraid of being embarrassed to constantly embarrassing himself. Yeah. That's if, pretty admirable. Honestly. If you laugh at yourself, well if you're the joke, then no one gets hurt. Except yourself. Well, sure, but I have, like, I just don't care. Like, what's it matter? The the beauty of the internet, because I'll be honest, one of my big fears is making some sort of gaffe on air and getting, okay. like, like ending my career. Because I love my job. Uh -huh. And, you know, you fuck up once, you're just screwed. Thank God it's not swearing would get you fired, like live TV, because then that would be done in, in the dumps. However, yeah. the beauty of the internet is they'll forget in like two days. It'll be like a clip. They'll be like, ha, look at this idiot. Look what he did. And then that's it. And it moves on. So I don't know if it's it's almost overblown, I think, that fear. Yeah. It's almost like the only thing that could get you in really big trouble is trying to talk about controversial subjects. Like what? What For could no I, reason, Kyle. What could you possibly talk about nowadays that would jeopardize your career? That's bait right there. Winter Wyvern first pick. It's pretty interesting, but I do like Singularity's response to it a lot. Marana Sand King, a great duo. Uh, a lot of magic damage. The Winter Wyvern uh, Cold Embrace is going to feel like it can't really be used very well. Sandstorm's going to cancel out the healing part. You've got an arrow set up, basically. And we finally get AA. The answer to this sustain, the answer finally, to healing. Finally, dude. But they pick it when Omni... Abba, a band. Like, come on. Why, where I, was this here I, when people were picking Omni? Thank you, dude. It's like the easiest thing to bait. Like, everyone wants a bad Omni Knight. Just have the AA in the arsenal for, like, your third or yeah. fourth pick. It's fine. Everyone buys Spirit Vessel right away. AA is the original Spirit Vessel. You also have a great talents. Ninety. You can be a core. I think AA core is actually really underrated. Um, the way VP ran it, mid. Yeah, mid, I actually think it could be an offlaner too if your four position is something that can take creep waves. I know it's weird, but think of it as more of like a roaming support. What? Why are you... What, put the Stick camera back mid. on cap. Stick with mid. <laughs> just, just 
Mid, yeah, mid's really mid, good. VP yep. showed how good it is, et cetera, et cetera. Or just five. Uh, five, five position works fine. <laughs> <laughs> off lane. Yeah. Off lane okay. inch apparition. Kyle's off lane created not last too long. Well, to be fair, that was that was probably my most successful role, unfortunately. Look, my career look, this is the thing. You learn a lot more from mistakes than uh than from success. So in a lot of ways, mm. I think I'm actually one of the wisest Dota two players. I always hear that and I always believed it, but then I met you and I'm just like I don't know if you've actually learned from them. I'm not like, I have and you're making me second guess whether that's Look at what I'm true. doing now. I could be trying to corral a bunch of teenagers into properly executing the right combination of buttons, short term decisions and you know, calming of nerves. And instead I'm here with my peers talking about yeah. video games, which I think is just the best job there yeah. is. This is a great AM game. Great AM pick. Yeah, it's pretty Speaking good. Speaking about video games. It, uh, it's touchy, though, against... Uh, I really like it against Kunkka. I like AM a lot against Kunkka because, to your point about X being spammable, it's so difficult to properly X in any mage if he sees you. Um, And the relationship with Ember is interesting because you can't really ever go toe-to-toe -to -toe as the Ember. However, you do have tons of disable, and if you get ahead early, you can really just smash this Animage. Also, goddammit, Kunkka is on Animage's team, I so obviously that won't be a concern. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I thought you were memeing. I, I couldn't actually tell that time. I was like, uh, this is not even in-game. In-game, no. I get getting confused, but it's literally laid out No, I was just, I'm just messing around. I just wanted to make mess up. That, that's a no, joke, guys. I, Good joke, yep. Kyle. Yep, yep, okay. I think you're wearing the wrong hat. Kyle. I'm never... Uh, oh, yeah, I'll put this on, too. I'm never a big fan of AM carry, and I like it a lot less when it's not last pick. So... They do not have a whole lot of playmaking heroes right now. And that makes me concerned. Um, yeah, like, Team Singularity do have a lot of magic damage, but they also have a lot of playmakers. They have three different heroes that come with mobility plus stuns. They have uh, a high amount of kill power. I, I think Ad Finum could just get run over here. I think you're right. I think you give yourself uh, some sort of... You know, decent physical damage, safe lane carry. Especially with what we've seen out of Adfinum's early game. They're a bit shaky in the lanes. I mean, Adfinum did okay in the last series. We were talking about, like, oh, look at this Adfinum. They just look more experienced. Mm. They're running around getting kills and stuff. And then they face Singularity, and Singularity does to Adfinum what Adfinum was doing to whatever the hell that team was called. I, I don't mind this, though. If you're going to take a one-game lead into a next game, I like the AM strat. I like the idea that you're going to have more vision. You have these I win team fight buttons, both with catch. You picked Sven into Wyvern. Singularity, what in the... They picked Sven to AM, though. It's, I think it, more it's of a, into AM and Beastmaster. It's a very good lane matchup versus Beastmaster, for the most part. <gasps> or at least decent. I guess you have enough stuns. Really you can just smash this Animage. It's also one of the few stuns that will hit the AM, even if he reflects, because it hits in the AoE. It doesn't just bounce back. I'm not sure on that. I'm just saying it. I hope that I look smart when I'm right, but I could be wrong. <laughs> you, even if you're right, you're not going to look smart in why? saying so. What about why wouldn't I look smart? What See, like he I immediately cracked. I can't. <laughs> he can't, I can't. for a second. <laughs> like whenever uh, Kyle uh, tries to do a, so, some sort of deadpan or serious character, it... There is no deadpan no. here. Yeah, so I think Singularity is going to take this. I, I'm not sure if Sven was the, the greatest pick, but it, I don't think it was a Slark game. Like, Slark would have been okay in some parts, but I don't like it against Kanka. Uh, what else? Juggernaut just wouldn't have done enough. Beastmaster and Kanka would be too tanky. AM is too slippery. Plus, you never know if you're going to Omni Slash the AM spell counter shield, whatever it's called. Omni Slash? Yeah, I was talking about potential carries outside of Sven. Oh, yeah, I know. I, was was, just, uh, I didn't know if that's what he said. Was Gyro banned, I assume? Yeah, I mean, either way, you're not picking Gyro into this lineup from Venom. You needed more of a physical damage dealer. 
I, I would have preferred a ranged hero. I think maybe um, it's a bit unconventional and not great in this kind of game, but a Clinks type hero would have been nice. Mm. Um, I think they also could have safe flamed Ember and picked TA. Uh, but I don't mind this. The thing about the Singularity lineup is it's very single target in a lot of ways. It, it's deceptive AoE. Because they're trying to stun train one guy most of the time. And that is the dream for heroes like Wyvern Kunk who are always looking to counter-initiate. I've never seen that AM taunt before. It does a little dance move. Hello. Arrow into Cold Feet, the body block attempt. We'll help get the Cold Feet proc in. Excalibur says, that's my first blood. <laughs> First blood is a nice now, Good start. That's that's how you like to get it. Bring the momentum back. Remember singularity. It's a little weird getting cold feet level one, but you know you got first blood, I guess. A the battle begins. Worth. They're not laning. Are they keeping that crown up here? Beastmaster beat sinking. <laughs> So why and Sven beats Beastmaster? I guess they just they really, really want to pressure the AM a lot. I mean, they they saw last game. They like we lost because yeah. of one reason, and that oh, one reason yeah, is please. this man right here. If, if there's anything I would say in my game plan for Adfinim, it would be, hey guys, just please l make Madara not free farm. That's just got to be your number one. He had the dream start in last game. He even got a free kill with that first Omni yeah. Although in reality, he really didn't have the greatest landing phase. He just ended up out carrying. Because yeah. of mid game, late game team fights. So, try lane versus try lane up top. Adfin will be looking to play fairly defensive with this one. There's Winter Wyvern yet to skill anything. Probably hoping to find a good Splinter Blast opportunity. You don't really want to go Arctic Burn level 1. But, alas, MNT will, since there's no creeps around. Trying to bully them away from this camp, but it is being body blocked. This is definitely going to be Singularity favored. Three stuns versus no stuns. That uh, usually goes only one way. At the same time, Adfinim do have two solo lanes that should be able to walk away uh, winning. I don't know if I agree with that. I think uh, Zenking's favored against Beast, and that's no, why. No, he's not. What? He's not. You just you go caustic no, and you just hit things. Dude, I, I've watched this matchup so many times now. He's definitely not favored. Okay, fine. Why? Because uh, you just push the lane. The the boars are so strong in lane for you. I agree, but I think you gotta focus on killing the boars like you did the first one. You yeah, just but use a stun. Le level to kill two boar. boar you can no longer kill it. Sanking is like uh Sanking his his soul sandstorm build gets exposed by everything that a boars are. Right? You still get C S, you can out C S the, the Sand King even with your boars. You harass him and force yep. him into using Sandstorm early situations. And if he doesn't go Sandstorm, then he doesn't have a way to like farm in the mid game. I, I suppose, but I, I like I don't know. Oh, you can agree to disagree. He, Ooh, might, well, like, he just got a two man caustic finale. Look at his Skylark, he's like, Fuck you! Uh, I'm gonna fight you with my boar. Cause he's seen this matchup before. <laughs> Alright, fine. You've got a point. He's got a salve now. He's looking to go aggressive for this kill, though he does lose his boar. Beastmaster, or sorry, Wyvern's coming down. Oh. They killed top, though. Now you just have a solo anti mage top. Oh, dear. Yeah. Madara is. I don't know. A bit worried about how these lanes are going. Sableite forced to burrow defensively. The boar is slow with the Arctic burn. Might be a kill if they want to chase this one down. Yeah, he's got another venom. Oh, the sky, here we go. Gets the last right click. Do you respond to Singularity? I'm not sure if you really do. I don't think so. I mean, I don't know if you can. And the thing you got to be worried about is, is Sand King getting dove. And thankfully, Wyvern isn't one of those supports that can just continuously apply pressure like that. Yeah. So you're going to get level 2 Sandstorm, and then you can just sit under tower. You just can't die with TB on cooldown. Oh, God. And as I say that... They don't have a sentry. They have one sentry left, but they get a ton of his mana. And now a you TP to follow. Okay. AM can do this because Sanking's TP is on cooldown. At the same time, Singularity say, we don't give a crap. Sanking will just walk across yep. the entire map. <laughs> as DNZ gets sniped and picked off. Dude, this is your favorite position as a uh, support. <laughs> when you're like, oh, my car's going to have to walk all the way across the map. Oh, shame. 
I guess I'll just have to sit in lane and uh, get solo experience and CS. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, I really wish you had TP off cooldown, man. <laughs> yep. He's going to hit level 6, like, before 10 minutes and still get the term of experience. <laughs> that's my favorite, like, those supports. <laughs> Dude, that's how you know the really, sh yeah. the, the, the really selfish supports. Dude, that's the one item we get. Don't take it away from us. I don't give a shit if I'm 7-0 and and level 12. At 10 minutes, I am taking the goddamn Dude, there's tome. So many I'm buying supports. wards all game. <laughs> There's so many supports that like being level eight just does isn't really a big difference, you know. Like there's one ability you probably want to max out and you want your ultimate, but those other levels just don't really matter to you. Mid lane pretty even so far. No real big action <laughs> happening here, at least. Thug and Mage just juking it out. Those are good mid player names. Thug versus Mage, you know. It's like maybe versus Sumail. Like it just you're like, oh wow, that's great. That sounds like a matchup for the ages. Yeah, like Swindle Melons versus Sammy Boy. You're just like, Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that just sounds yeah. low tier, you know. That sounds like it's not gonna be yeah. the greatest matchup. <laughs> what, what, what's a better sign? What the hell are you doing the set? You're breaking shit. We're good. Four rooms in trouble. Can he get to the shrine? Yeah, he's good. Yeah. He's good. Dyer's bottom tower mm -hmm. is under so we're going to be going straight for the minus for Excalibur. Yep. Which is, I think, pretty expected. AM's back to the top lane, constantly trying to dodge the Sven matchup, realizing it just wasn't working yep. for him. Th this is certainly favoring Adfinim at the moment. I know you want to slow down the Annie Mage, but it's more important. Adfinim or Singularity? It's going good for Adfinim. Okay. okay. Sorry. Because even though Sven is ahead of the AM, this isn't the ideal Sven game. You want to have, like, that free farm plus plus lane. You want a hard camp from four minutes on, and he's just not having that kind of start. Skylark may actually survive his way through this one. Has the board to help back him up, and MNT has stick charges. They may actually kill off Excalibur if he can find some bounces, him. put a blast, and he does. Perfectly boar, played dude. by Adfin, and this boar is owning the Beastmaster with his levels. Level two boar, oh, Skylark, there you go, gets the cold wow. embrace. Great defensive play from Adfinim. DNZ has no leap charges left. One or two more right clicks. Spartan, he's got a nuke Oh, soon. he had a boar and oh. he didn't get it off. Unfortunate, but Spartan looking to finish off DNZ. Doesn't look like it's going to be an easy task. He's oh, in the here trees. Comes Hello. Yeah. Here's Mage. Okay. Here's Excalibur. Here's the whole crew. Bit mistake by uh, DNZ. Like, uh, that was a guarantee that Sven was going to get his stun off. So him just trying to go for Radiant's the arrow off of attack. the cold feet was yeah. really unnecessary. Oh, nice. Uh, Saberlight, he sentried the center for the AM, so he's actually able to lane here very effectively. Just annoying, because Sandstorm costs a lot of mana, and if AM can nuke you down, eventually you just run out of gas. Yeah, yeah. so anyway, point is, Adfinum... Definitely still in a fine position. They're trying to just buy time to the mid game when the Kunkka Beasts just start roaming around with the supports. It's this concept of Radiant having Radiant abilities and Radiant heroes Radiant. that require more enemies to deal with, right? If I'm a Kunkka with a boat, I'm a Wyvern with an ult. Like, we're good in a two on three. We're at the very least going to get away, defend our tower. And that makes it hard for Singularity to play. Comes a rotation. They've got boat for this one, but looks like it's being avoided. Excalibur gets out just in time. MNT meme on the mid lane. I think they know Kunkka's on the roam since Wyvern's taken over this mid lane. You have been I don't know if I like the complete lack of... Okay, there we go. Thank you. I was going to say, the AA didn't have a point in Ice Vortex. He places this fifth one in. I, I really like that. It's a great one-point wonder. 14... or Sorry. 40 mana for 15% magic damage and slow uh, increase. Like that, That is crazy strong, especially if heroes like Ember and uh, all these stun combos you're trying to land. It's one of those abilities that doesn't feel like mega value to level up that much. Because it doesn't like lower the cooldown or anything. Just 5% per level on a slow and the magic damage. Yeah, but it, go, it goes up in mana cost by 20. Yeah. So I typically like it at one, maybe two points tops. When you max your others. Madara. Radiant arrow, up. arrow, oh! It's right. on cooldown. There's gonna be a Burris. Like he should be able to blink out after this. Blink yeah. straight into Mage. Look at that. Mage just beautiful positioning, even cutting into the trees, knowing that's where the AM's oh, probably no. gonna head to. Oh no! MNT, what have you done? What have you done? Well, Radiant's he's can't get up there. He's done himself. That's what he's done. He has played himself. 
Excalibur popping the God Strength, trying to get uh, some chip damage on the mid tower because Thug only has the two levels and X marks the spot. He'll be able to do so completely unpunished. Skylight pressuring bottom there. Also rotation from Sabrelite. All right, your Sand King versus Beastmaster matchups now. You've got, when it comes to level three and level four Sandstorm, mm -hmm. the matchup gets Dyer's better. You need the overlapping invis, basically, in the big AOE. So now he can infinitely defend this tower, and Skylark's gonna be uh, a little bit pressured to uh, to stop it. All you have to do, though, is just get one rotation of a support. Um, you throw the Hawk behind the, the tower, and you dust. Because the biggest problem is usually you don't see the Sand King. He's hidden in a tree somewhere, and then he's able to burrow strike away. Epicenter being channeled by Sableye. He's looking to set up a fight for his team. Both going to go flying on through, blocking some of this damage coming damage. in. But this is not looking good for Adfinim. They've already lost Skylark, and the chase is on Spartan and Thug. And you get the hell out of there. Thug. Is there any stuns left? Ooh, just in time. The bar strike was just about to come back up. Really nice fight. Singularity, once again, they're playing far better in the early game. The rotations have been excellent. Oh, I am? No, it's a rune. But top lane, Singularity, get both. So three for one. Yeah, we're feeling really good, the Singularity fan. Once again, Mage on this Ember Spirit, one of his best heroes for sure. He's constantly a force around the map on the hero. It's a big part of why they were able to breeze through their lower bracket match as well. And which by that I mean bracket match did by that I mean play? the <laughs> Ember has shown good results when Thug played it as well. Oh, okay. And I think it's an important hero for the rest of this series. Because you have this That's internal that. meta that develops in a BO5, right? Certain heroes are gonna become very, very valuable. Well, the plan for Adfinim is clear. Just try and catch up the Anti-Mage and have him play some 1v5 Dota. Lane, Spahn. Doing his thing. 0-5 already, which is unfortunately often the case for Spahn's 5 position, where he dies for the greater good, I would like to say, you know, to give him the benefit of the doubt. They gotta try and keep this mid tower alive as fast as possible. Slow down what is going to be uh, Singularity probably rolling over them for a lot of fights. They're looking to keep doing just that. The arrow just manages to clip the Winter Wyvern as Mage gets the first kill with that Searing Chain set up. And we'll look to focus their efforts on that T1 mid tower, which will oh, nice. open up so much of the map. Nice kill bottom. Yeah. Just an easy roar into. Uh, into chase down with the help of Spartan's CM. They're going to tower off of this, and a decent tower to take, which could help the Anti-Mage if he wants to play down in this bottom Radiant's lane, because this will kind of give him a lot of access into this Radiant jungle. He should eventually, you think. I don't think he wants to stick around top for too much longer, because that's likely... Singularity, now they've taken this T1 mid, they're going to go right in and, yeah, take over this jungle. They've circled it. They know where they want to play. They know where AM wants to farm, and this is going to force AM down in this bottom side of the map, theoretically. AM's gonna have to play in this uh, smaller jungle and in the uh, Radiant jungle. That was like some Hector or Chris Luck stuff. Enemy shows itself trying to, to attack you and he just keeps farming just a little bit more. It, it's intimidating though, when, the when you don't show fear, it you get a little scared. Like if you ever seen the movies, it's very effective. Like, it's when you just kind of become afraid, you make yourself a target within the game. If you're standing still just hitting creeps, they think, oh, maybe this guy knows something I don't know. Does he have teammates here? Is there a ward on me? Mm -hmm. What should I do? Well, singularity. What they want to do is smoke up and go hunt. They found many a kills on these Adfinim supports. Nine deaths across MNT and Spartan, and it looks like that nine's about to become ten. Mm. They'll back off as Adfinim do rotate in a few, but at the same time, this is much more than a few on the Singularity side. Get one more kill. Oh, something down here. Sand King just trying to set up the Antimage, but here comes Excalibur, pops the Godstring. Can't deal with MNT right now, but he's going to get cold feet up, and Mage has more than enough magic damage. He, he bought back, guys. Yeah. I, 
Don't you think this is a fight you want to take? Uh, that is like the fifth fight that he has not gotten Winter's Curse off on. He's just kind of been on the front lines and died. And they have great Winter's Curse set up, right? They have Torrent into boat. They uh, can get the Crystal Maiden into position oh, for yeah. Freezing Fields. Madara is probably just hitting creeps like, guys, just just chill. I need, I need at least 20 more minutes, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> I'll he, come out of the jungle then. He's doing his job. His team's job is to try and, you know, stop some of this bleeding that's going on. They need some bandages, and they need to... They don't just Keep need away from gods. They need stitches at this point. Oof. It's deep cut. And soon, yeah, at least some Witch Hazel. Do they not have Witch Hazel in other places? Because it's just an herb. It's I've heard it. I never used it. Oh. It's a lighter version of rubbing alcohol, basically, right? Yeah. It's less abrasive, though. It's supposedly also the best aftershave that you can use because it's uh, less. Um, you don't want to use right most aftershaves because they have too much alcohol in them. Oh. Your face should never oh. burn. That's bad for you. And four bounty runes again. Burning is how I know I'm alive. <laughs> well, I also intentionally cut myself with the razor too. Well, that's just so the dark. alcohol really gets in there, you know. That's not okay, Cap. You get that adrenaline rush. Cap, you're scaring me. Cap, we've talked about this. It's a 6,000 net worth lead for Singularity 15-5. And it's looking like it is going to continue to grow unless Ad Venom can find a way to finally get an initiation that leads into a combo. Oh, top lane, Epi coming in. The Wyvern is in trouble. Wow, he's really just fine. Well, well level one epicenter. Why That's didn't what level one epicenter for you. Tell TP without cursing. <laughs> away. They're going to smoke. We've got a smoke from Advinum. They have no Wyvern, no Wyvern ultimate. Perhaps it's best to be a little more conservative. We shall yeah. see. They've got to play around their Kunker. He's like the one strong hero in their team. He's mastered to a certain extent as well, but whatever you do. Oh, oh dear. Trouble. Spotting in the trees. Nice attempt, but there is a sanking stun. <laughs> Spartan, I love him. This man. Ambitious. Freezing yeah. field next to a sanking. We can't hate on a man for his ambitions. Nice to try and back his body up. That's, you know, one of the, I'd say, signature things about his playstyle is he's never going to just let his teammate die. He's always going to try and save them, even if he should just abandon them. Yeah, the, the problem is that maybe next time's unfortunately having a rough game too. Spartan with the seven deaths, usually not a problem. If he has at least half of his team's deaths, Adfinim's win rate is double that of when he is less than half of his team's deaths. And unfortunately, seven over 17 is not quite one half. So he'll need to up his dying. Needs to be this team's next three deaths to get that ratio back in order, which would buy a lot of time for Madara to keep that farm going almost at the battle field. Well, they found Madara. Oh, chain didn't hit. Hit the creeps. Chase is on there. Madara no has mana. Out of mana. Uh, he's got Siamara. Is that enough? We will have it soon. Intreds in a couple of seconds, maybe. There we go. Intreds it up. Blinks out of the Ice Blast. Mage may want to chase this one. Oh, he doesn't have mana now. Where's the backup? Okay. Yeah. Decides not to chase. And, oh, hey, that's a nice kill. I'd fin him. Haven't seen much dog. action from them in some time. As Almost Battle Fury time for Anti Mage. Still a winnable game. We saw what Adfinan can do from behind last game. These guys, they're kind of allergic to winning laning stages. Is it? Is it a good Spirit Festival game? For Kanka? Yeah. For I didn't Kunkka. think so. I was gonna bring that up. He's not gonna scale now. And what is it for? Yeah. Still healing. The Sven, I guess, because you get a bunch of health when you pop your ult. But even that's, that's like negligible. Yeah, that's pretty. I mean, that's assuming you're gonna hit him before he pops God Strength, which is usually not no. the case. Seems that's just by so default weird. they wanted to have a vessel on their team. It's like, okay, this is one of those items we need, and Kunk can buy it. It's decent stats. But I, I overall agree that it does not seem like the ideal item this game. Because they already have the power to blow up one person. Right? They prime a roar and they torrent boat. That person's going to die. I think 
you just want to be able to scale a bit more with your Kunkka. I think you would like to be able to see like one of those, if you can, Radiance, you know, games. Radiance Unlikely, top maybe. Tower is under attack. He's the the most farmed hero on their team. It's back onto Expeller. I don't think they're going for an actual kill here. Creating space, forcing a TP or a rotation or two, and all this is going on. Of course, Madara, you can expect him to be hitting up the jungle, hitting some creeps. He get found soon, but they have been struggling to kill him. We got Battle Fury up, so the clock has started. Madara will begin to carry his team now. The question is, will he have enough time? And will that burden, or will that burden become just too heavy to get across the finish line? Doesn't, doesn't carry status typically mean third item? Radiance middle yeah, tower about is that. Under attack. But the countdown to him carrying the game has started now. Yes. Well, he's already starting to carry it. It's just that it's it's not the big enough. He doesn't have a big enough load just yet. Mm. He's got to wait, brew it up, and once he's got the items required. It's time to rock and roll. And uh, they will get runes this time on Ad Finim. Ooh, right. So that's cool. That's Three the first time. out of four. Dyer's I'm not going for the fourth, but that's uh, been a big part of this gold discrepancy. Even when AM gets items, like the Sven being ahead means oh, but, he can't no, easily fight. MNT, dude. One nuke is fine, but then he's oh, stuck yeah. around. Space oh, he might. No. Can't TP out from the curse? Space created. Space created. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. This is like 15 seconds. It's just building the streak, too. The bigger the streak, the harder they fall. That means you get more gold for killing the Ember. At some point, I'm pretty sure it's actually worthwhile to feed yourself in order to grow that bon that bounty bonus. I'm not sure when. Do you think that's going to be a TI strategy? It could be. That's Kyle's time to shine. Ready to go back to playing competitive. Nothing, Kyle? No? Sorry, I was watching uh, something else. What did you ask? Oh, no. Thug's going to check it out with X. Oh. He's not going to get inside the pit, but he's going to be able to get the torrent. Bit too late to actually stop Roshan from being taken, though. And it's now a Heaven's Helper. They... Yeah. All right. This is going to be a very tanky Kunkka. Another arrow. Oh. <laughs> You're even hit by one previously. But, uh... Yeah. Tower's Steiner tower. feel like yeah. they're going to drop on this dire side now. The the really like disturbing thing about this is that you know singularity isn't like hard countered by AM farming for another 20 Radiant minutes. Yeah. Like they're still going to have a very clear game where they have a bunch of disables and a really hard hitting uh, physical damage carry. I get the tier one tower top Sven a bit too late to deny it. I like that he went Midas on the Sven because yeah. this is where the reason you beat AM Radiant's is because you get your six slot so much faster than he does in Madara bottom. Uh, oh, Mage still needs an escape. Oh, okay. he had Aegis, so I'm fine with that play. I was like, dude, that's very risky. Yeah. Without that, Madara will be AM. Oh, Force. on target. Ah, oh, just a little to the right, much like Luke. He'll get another shot. You underestimate my power. Top lane. Oh, it's MNT. Him and Spaden having a bit of a what contest. The what the? F I don't know why I'm just doing this game. What the? F has there been a single winner's curse that is no. led into a kill? No. I'm pretty sure it's led into like almost zero damage. That was a particularly bizarre one. Like the one top when he's baiting and well not baiting when he's just trying to create space and buy some time sure but that that's just like hi i'm just waddling by here's winter's curse see ya but i'm gonna keep playing top ha ha yeah. got him they'll never expect this he's, he's caught i mean he could still just teleport away oh. yeah they're not even bothering to chase They're like dude this wyvern kill is not worth the effort and now there's no winter's curse for this defense I am I think realizing he may have to come to the fight. He's going to TP to the shrine. He's going to cut waves. I like this call. Now they just have to clear these oh, creeps. Fart. No, not like this. Oh. Oh, the the roll, though. It is an Aegis, though. So. He's got no remnants. Still. He's still uh, in trouble. Does he have no remnants? 
Yeah. He has no remnants. Zero. It's gonna be. Oh, he's. he's Never mind. He's got one. He had that. He one. has no more to cast. AM cut the wave though. Yeah. Really well done. He, that's why you don't TP here. They lose Whoa. the tier three, but he gets a ton of gold and he prevents the push. Yeah, he TP, but he TP to the shrine to cut the wave. So he was a, made a very heads up play. Now it's he's on Manta. the run. There you go. Yep. Smart, smart call. Knew that all his team had to do was kill off a couple of creeps that were in the base at that point. It's fine time to get himself online. Scotty queued up next. That's the third big item, and that's when theoretically he should be online. He'll be level like almost 20 by that point, so I imagine he'll be at least in a fairly strong state. You've got to win this game with your singularity. Like, oh, Signal. nice stun on the skylight. But after that last one, I, I want to see them continue with this measured level of aggression, but I want them to try and close this one out. Do not let it get past 35 minutes. Win this game. Take it to them. It seems like they had that plan. The Vlad's now being picked up by DNC instead of going for like an Aghanim Scepter, which would have scaled you a lot better yeah. into the late game. Like he is very clearly saying, I'm just getting the team fight items we want now to end. Well, formulaic from Singularity at this point. 21 to 6, 9k gold. Not all done and dusted just yet, but they are going from objective to objective. This will come in handy. Grabbing these bounty runes, although only getting two of them. Not wanting to play down this bottom side. Never refuse gold given. Nine K, the gold lead. Madara catching up to the Sven. Would really love some more objectives here. No, yeah, maybe next time has got to come through. Um, he's had enough opportunities. Perhaps the next time will be the one he succeeds. But you know, if you're gonna have some crazy turnaround fight that it gets AF back into this, it's going to be on the back of a Wyvern ult into a combo. Yeah. Especially when you consider SNG is about to come siege the base. Ags on Ember, no Aegis to speak of, however. I feel like this could be the fight that AM's going to be forced to be in. Going Fire Strike, Sven follows up with a stun. Ice Blast is there, there's Winter's Curse, catches up just sanking. Miranda doing some right click damage in the whole line. Mage is just on the back lines. Another kill onto Spartan. And it looks like uh, uncontested Rax. Singularity. Maybe see some pickoffs on the way out. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case, though. Rana just leaps on out. AM got to do pretty much no damage to the tier 3, because they have an Ember Spirit who can TP back, deal with the Creep Wave, and still join his team for a fight. So they don't really have that opportunity to, to force SNG back and reset. So Singularity is just going to keep going. Yeah, TP's on in. Ooh, BKB use. BKB, yeah. Uh, maybe next. No curse available, Madara. Can't really do a whole lot of damage in that BKB, and what's the Manta out? Luckily for him, the arrow did not land. As the X pull back on the mage into the boat, but still no real threat to his life as that Venom throwing spells, but not really doing any damage whatsoever. Five back from the Winter Wyvern out of necessity is, oh my, Kunkka just gets deleted and an easy disengage for Singularity. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Just keep playing around that Sven. He's not taking damage. And you're not threatened by any of these Adfinim cores. They don't have the poke. It's just Animage that's true damage. Gets the Courier, though. Goes in. Trying to see what we can get. Pulled by Bar Strike here, and uh oh, Madara. Oh no. He's overstepped his welcome. That may just be the game. A Winter's Curse finally comes out, but it's it's too a little too late. Should you, be the one of the things I really don't like about the AM here is that he doesn't have a hero he can really latch onto well. Yeah. Uh, the Ancient Apparition was able to get a Force Staff, but naturally you're dealing with Marana, Sanking. Like, these heroes are very mobile. They're going to get away from you if you blink on them, so. There's not even that counter threat. You see Mage just diving supports freely. The AM can't really do the same and get that fast kill for them. Even when he gets Scotty, even when he gets Butterfly, he's still gonna have an issue with that. It's only once he gets like Basher plus Manta plus everything else that he can yeah, maybe blow up a support. And look at the itemization, dude. Like Thug has Vessel Halberd. The Beastmaster has Pipe, Vlad's Medallion, Tranquil Boots. None of them, they didn't worry about their own game at all. They're just support characters, and yeah. they, they don't have the time to, to wait for their AM. They had to get involved faster. And they kind of saw how last game went and just stuck to that same game plan where they their two other core players just 
play supportive roles to Madara, but they got run over so hard so fast that there's just nothing they can do. This blast will clip the Beastmaster and help finish him off. Madara's back, but back for what, really? He's being rooted up and not really ready to fight. He sent it going in forward on Kunkka. AM on the back lines. We'll get the AA. Just a five position kill for Madara. That's about all he can do, it feels like. Gone now. Careful, Madara. Oh, there we go. Big ultimate from the Wyvern. They're going to have tons Tauren. of follow up for this. Follow up. Green and Torrin, big cleave. Yeah. Nice bar strike to try and get out of there. The Sand King's still alive for now, but unfortunately for him, there is some dust. He is still trying to juke, but he's being called out, so. Seven That's kills. what they've been waiting for. <laughs> that is the combo. Curse into Torrent. Yeah, that's uh, that's cool and everything, but uh, your two lanes yeah. of racks down. It's 19k gold lead. Your AM is not about to eclipse the Sven. Yeah, I don't know. It's something about this Ad Finum team and their uh, their item builds and how like passive they play for their damage. Right? They're just they seem to have this idea that like tank is king. Yep. And utility items are king. But they're not really putting it together um, yeah. in the way you'd expect. I'm not an experienced enough Kunkka player to know, like, what was the build I for this game. I can tell you it wasn't Vessel Halberd. But I could kind of see how Halberd's, like, Halberd's still damage. Is it, though? Because you're a strength uh, yeah, core vessel, if vessel isn't damaged. I, I just don't think you can get both. Like, they're more utility-style yeah, yeah. items. You want it. You need to have a BKB to defend your base. You cannot yeah. not have a BKB. It's past the 30-minute mark. You're still the full recipe away. Yeah. Like, I'm sure Radiance is too slow of an item build. Um, <laughs> and I don't know how viable the old right-click Kunkka build, the Cleave build, is. So maybe it was Halberd, BKB, and then... Some other item after that. AC for Excalibur. They're not going to make the uh, same mistake they did last game with not getting an AC in the entire game. Granted, Sven naturally built into it. This game definitely doesn't have that same kind of glimmer of hope feel that last game did. It was yeah. much more like a inevitable wait for Adfinim to just kind of fall over. Well, uh, you know, to be honest, I didn't think there was much of a glimmer last game either, but that glimmer was produced at some point. This is, this is where they rebounded previously as well, though. Two racks down, one bottom lane remaining to defend. A 99% win probability for the enemy <laughs> team. This is where Adfinim likes to be. In fact, some might say that Singularity has played right into their hands. Is that so? Madara Uchicha stands alone Please. against the fighting tyranny of the Radiant. Oh, Ooh. Jesus. Uh, he's about to stand alone because his teammates are dying and dying quick. Nice. Uh, no, not so nice, Chris. We'll kite the Sven a little bit. On the back lines, Aurora comes out. Pexu is dead. And DNZ just oh my God. leaps away from the AM. He's going to be forced to blink his way, try it. Trying to get himself back to the fountain, but he's got no hope. He's immediately by his back, but Mega Creep's about to be claimed with this one last range track. And this game, really done and dusted. I would agree. So uh, apparently, you can dispel uh, counter spell. Interesting. Yeah, and so I was like. I keep, I, I, this is one of the things I always nerd out about, is like, I want to see Stormhammer dispels enemies. Like, I'm so convinced that that's got to be good in some game somewhere. Right? There's yeah. a lot of, like, good... It's really good against monkeys. Yeah, dispels, like, really strong. The problem is, and I looked it up, it applies this dispel after the Stormhammer. So I was thinking it would be dope against AM, you know? Like, you could always stun that guy. He couldn't counterspell you, but... That doesn't it, hits, it does the damage, then the debuff, then the dispel. Huh. 
Yeah. That's weird. So. If it dispelled, yeah, it should dispel first, you'd think. Because that would make more sense. Also, yeah. because, let's say, like, I have a hammer, right? If, if I throw this hammer, it stuns you. That's the normal effect. Now it's dispelling as well. Wouldn't that be something, like, applied to the hammer? Sort of like some sort of static field around it? You would think that you would interact with that first. And if you've ever noticed, when things lose their magnetism, it happens immediately. There's no delay. This isn't a conspiracy, capitalist. This is science. We're trying. You're... you're you're making people think this is fake. No, it's whenever real. you go off uh, on your tangents, the X Files game not a always tangent. works. Static field on the hammer; it will dispel you before the damage is dealt, as the null field would interact with your hitbox first. That's all I'm saying. I think that should be changed in the next update. Needless to say, congratulations to Team Singularity. They do hold on. That's technically the second game they should have won. It is, however, now a Bo3 as both teams have taken a game in this decisive BO5 Grand Final for a spot at the Beyond the Summit DPC Minor here at the studio in LA.